Uh, man, what a week I had. I had been so lazy because I was on winter break from school. Uh, I haven't had much time to do anything, so actually I had a lot of time. Like most comedians, I just broke up with my girlfriend. Uh, I deflated her and put her back in a box. That stupid bitch never kept her mouth shut. <laughs> The same dance. I, I don't like girls with fake breasts. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna try something different today. Uh, first off, I'm gonna wear some headphones so I don't hear you guys not laughing, which tonight won't be a problem for everybody. Uh, I call these my comedy headphones. Let me put these on. All right. So I, I can't hear you guys. I can't hear Tommy over there calling me an idiot. I can read lips, bitch. All right. Now, over here, I have my comedy sombrero. What I have in the sombrero is... Ah, oh, shit, where did you go? <laughs> I have pieces of paper. Now, this piece of paper, different kinds of forms of comedy. I'm just going to... All right. I just... There you go. So there's different forms of comedy on these pieces of paper. I'm gonna go over here. What are you reaching a hat and pick out one? What does it say? I can't hear you, I have to train Ah, shit, that one? Okay. All right, she picked out relationships. Not that one. What a good bit to do with my parents here. Uh, all right, let's see. Yeah, everybody, everybody comes up here. Tommy, uh, all the other comedians. Uh, they're like, ah, oh, man, you know, I, I just broke up with my girlfriend. Uh, me and my girlfriend are having troubles. Fuck you guys. I haven't had a girlfriend in 22 years. I can't hear you. Thank you. Ah, uh, boy, but uh, it's all right. Uh, I've actually been on a lot of dates. I've been on 72 dates with 27 girls that I met on MySpace. Let me tell you, that MySpace, ah, uh, that MySpace, because you never, you never really get to see the girl. They always have some kind of like cleavage picture or a butt picture. You just can't tell what they really look like. <clears throat> I, I met this girl online and uh, we, we got to talk and she, I thought she would look kind of pretty because uh, she only had pictures of her face. And uh, we went on a date to the uh, Cheesecake Factory. And she's like, yeah, I'll be right there. I just pulled up. She comes in. The fattest girl I've ever seen. <laughs> Her ass was shaped like a football. I, I call it football ass. Yeah. It was, it was the worst date ever because she brought along two of her friends. And two of her friends were like 40 year old guys that acted like they were five. It was the worst date ever. We went to the Cheesecake Factory. It was a very nice restaurant. Very uh, sophisticated. These guys are in tank tops and shorts. It's December, it's like three years ago, December. Retards. Anyway, long story short, because Tommy gave me the red light. Bastard. Um, I think I did. So, so, I was like, yeah, yeah, I got it. dinner. It's a date, right? So these guys think I'm gonna pay for them. So they bought the filet mignon. I walked up and left, and I haven't spoken to her since. This idea sucks. <laughs> I gotta write some shit now. Next time, next time I write some shit. I, I can't. Thank you. <laughs> Matt Samuels, everybody. Matt Samuels. First time. <laughs> oh man, you brought your parents. Jeez. Hey folks, hey Samuels. You guys, what do you guys think? 
How are you guys doing?